I don't care. Doug Schwab, you and I had coach after the first day. How do you feel about your team? Uh, roller coaster, man. It always is. Uh, you know, you get a returning All American, he goes 0 and 2. And the thing is, you, you go to your back, you know, that many times, it, it's tough. It's tough to beat anybody. Um, I don't know. I mean, you feel good about those other two guys that, that are in the quarterfinals, but I think that's that's kind of the nature of it, though. You're, you're never you're never too satisfied, you know, not for very long anyway. You like you feel good about a win and then, then they go to the next match and then maybe you're up or you're down. But you know, you just gotta really stay real steady and, and have those those two guys both in the quarters tomorrow and push themselves into the into the semifinals. I think they're I think see Blaze open up a little bit more, but I think Cooper, Cooper Moore's obviously wrestling the best he's ever wrestled. You know, to be the guy that's a couple time all American, the guy that beat him pretty good this year at uh, at Vegas. And to really turn around, and you know, you know, I mean, he was in, he was in a couple times. He scored. He was in again. He was being aggressive and attacking. That's what, that's what won him that match. You know, I, yeah, I don't. He didn't call, He didn't catch him. He put him in that position and, and pinned him. And you know, he's got two pins. And and uh, I tell you what, he feels real good. And and, and uh, you can kind of see it in his eyes. And that's that's a great thing to see as a coach. And we just want to keep him rolling tomorrow morning. But Moore seems a lot more relaxed out there than yeah. I think I think so. I think uh, you know, last year definitely just. You know, nerves, anxiety, whatever, to be in the first time in the real big stage. Um, it, you know, I mean, some, I think it gets to a lot of guys. And just kind of see, I've seen a calm kind of come over him, especially, you know, at the MAC tournament. Just just kind of, hey, man, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go. And he struggled a little bit this season just with, with that injury and, and getting through it and, and really being tight. And now he's, now he's opened up a little bit more. And to what it is. I'm excited. I'm excited to see watching Russell uh, Jordan. So, yep. Yep. Uh, yeah. I do some more. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You keep going. Uh, Go ahead. Dylan Peters, that first match that he had, um, that American guy on bottom. Did you you had a conversation with the referee about that? Was it, did you think? I mean, was uh, I, was I, he... well, I I wanted more. I want to first. I want a clarification on the. The takedown at the end of the second, because man, if you if you're if you're here and you're wrapped and he's on his butt, he doesn't have his hands locked. That that should be points. Yep. Uh, you know, I've I've watched quite a few where the guy's heads in between, but I thought I thought that's you know the rule with with with, with Jordan Oliver. You know, with, if you cut across, <laughs> boom, that's two points. So I, I asked him about that, but then, dude, we're, we're, you know what else are we supposed to, what are, what are we supposed to do in that situation? Obviously, we we need to we need to back away more, but then that guy's stalling. And he's like, well, I gave him one point. I said, well, there, there should have been more points there because he wasn't attempting to do anything. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we, we, we wasted way too much time in there. Uh, you know, he's grabbing our hand, but then we're, you know, we're coming off him, and then we're going right around him and not giving any points. And, and we didn't take advantage of every second of that of that match. You, you get put on your back twice, and even getting put on his back twice and getting down and digging that hole, you know, he put himself back in that match. But... It's, it's obviously not where you want to be. I mean, and the guy's flexible. I mean, the one time he, you know, he's going for his move, and it looks like he's going to bury the guy, and the guy's got some real flexible shoulders, and he ends up going to his back. But he was still, he was still in that match. But Dylan's got to. We're going to have to have him get to pick up the pace sooner. You know, and he's got to let it fly. And this is going to burn. This is going to burn really hard, and it has to burn hard because the only reason, the only time you change is if there's some pain. You know, you, know, you don't change when things kind of are comfortable and you feel okay. And I, I know he doesn't feel comfortable right now. I know he's hurting bad, and, and we got to use that pain as, a, as, as, some, as some motivation and to really drive him um, this spring and summer and fall and come back a different guy. Because 20, 25 is never going to get easy. And at 25, you always got studs coming in. You got a lot of young guys back. Um, so I guess we, you know we'll, we'll really see where he goes from here. You know, it's it's real fresh right now. Though. It's, it's it's so it's hard. It's really hard to. Not talk about it, but you know how much the stuff sink in. You know, it's it's going to be the proof's going to be this, in the next month, and next month, and next month, and, and where he's at next year. Because I still, I still, I still believe he's one. I know he's one of the best guys, but he's got to use more of the tools that he has. You know, he doesn't. He's not. He's not a one. He's not a one move guy. He's got a lot of tools, and we got to be able to use it. And, and really, I just want to let him and get him to open up and just let it fly. Let's go let it fly out there. Let's go let it fly against everybody. If we give up some points, we'll give up some points. But, man, when you get, when you get put to your back, it, it makes it hard to win matches. So, um, you know, that's, that's kind of that's where he's at today. He gave up, gave up way too many points. Cabell's got the number two seed guy, uh, McMullen. Or yeah. Or yeah. Um, what does he need to do to advance in the semifinals? Uh, I'd like to – obviously, like to see him get a little bit more offense off. Um, you know, I, I think as the match win, he picked it, he picked up his pace and gave himself a few more opportunities. But um, you know, 
Rollins, a very athletic heavyweight too. Um, Russell's a, probably a little bit, you know, you say a smaller guy, you know, kind of it's similar to, to Blaze. So, I don't know, I guess he was he was excited to win that match, and, and he should be. But, man, let's let's go push ourselves in the semis, you know. And then, then, then you know, then, then obviously, then you're, you're one step away from the ultimate goal. So, um, I know I'd like to see him open up and give himself just a few more opportunities in this match because I think McMullen, McMullen will wrestle. So I don't know. I'm, I'm excited to see those two get after it. And how proud of you are? Uh, how proud of you are, Mento, for winning that uh, wrestle back, or the pigtail match? Well, it's you know he grew he grew a lot in the, in the last year. You know to 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 take how he did. You know not being the guy we end up. You know we last the year before we end up switching kind of. Who, who we were going with, he'd wrestle most of the year, and, and he took it like a man, and he took it like a, like a, like not many kids I've seen been able to handle it like that, and, and really have the, have the kind of class he did and the composure that he did with that, because it's not an easy, it's not an easy situation, it hurt, it hurt him bad, and, and it was, it was tough for me as a coach, but, you know, he responded this year, got himself in the national tournament, got a, got a win, obviously, I know he would like more, and we, we would like more from him, but, um, you know, there's a lot of guys that have never, never won a match at the Division One national tournament, so, so, so he has that, and, and, uh, more than anything, he has kind of the, the type of kid he is and the type of mentality that he has and, and how, how he goes about things even when they don't go his way. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm proud of him of that. And, and, and uh, he, you know, he'll graduate next in the fall next year. He'll still be, he'll still be with us because he never, he never redshirted. Um, so, you know, we, we look forward to having him around and just help keeping him, keeping him grow as a man. So.